One half Borderlands and one half Dota, Battleborn is the latest multiplayer offering from Gearbox Software, taking MOBA staples such as creep waves, hero units and laning, and combining it with the humor and co-op gameplay from Borderlands. The combination works for the most part, but stumbles in a few other aspects of its execution. Battleborn's backstory is told through its campaign, and it isn't particularly memorable. A generic evil space empire threatens to take over the galaxy, and only the elite Battleborn can stop it. We've heard it all before. The campaign lasts about 6-7 to seven hours, and can be played either alone or in co-op. It even supports split-screen gaming. Unfortunately, this is probably the weakest part of the entire game, feeling more like playing a multiplayer horde mode. While some of the boss fights are quite good, the majority of your time will be spent dealing with wave after wave of brain-dead, unmemorable enemies being thrown at you before reaching the next checkpoint. It suffers even more the deeper you get into it, and I found myself cursing some badly placed checkpoints and difficulty spikes in the later levels. The dialogue and the humor are clearly influenced by Borderlands, but even then it doesn't seem to be able to stand on its own. Previously afforded only to the dead. And afterwards, we'll have a pizza party or something. Doesn't that sound great? Attention minions! My douchebag sensors are going all kinds of bonkers. It appears one or several douchebags have infiltrated the facility. The algorithm must be processed. Send them packing. Thankfully, slogging through the single player nets you two things. Unlocking of new characters and loot to be used in the multiplayer, where I feel the real meat of this game lies. The game comes with three separate modes, Incursion, Meltdown, and Capture. Incursion is basically a MOBA, where you have creep waves moving towards enemy sentries which must be taken out with your ultimate goal of destroying the enemy base. Meltdown is similar to Smite's arena mode where you must lead your creeps into the enemy portal to reduce their ticket count, while Capture is simply a team fight over points. All three modes are quite enjoyable, but suffer from only having two maps each at this point in time, which means the maps can wear thin relatively quickly. Battleborn's real strength, however, is in its cast of characters. The cast is diverse, colorful, full of personality, and genuinely fun. Each character plays differently, and you'd be hard-pressed to play any two characters the same. What makes these characters even more interesting is that they can be spec down one of two and later on even unlocking a third path to really tailor each character to best suit one's individual playstyle. For example, the character Miko is a support healer, but can be spec to be either more of a pure healer or can opt instead to buff his poison abilities, which will have various effects on his enemies. This level of customization is further enhanced by the gear system. As you play, you collect shards which you can then use to equip various pieces of gear that have various effects and bonuses. Items have different rarities, with the rarer ones having more powerful effects, but kept in check by its rising shard cost to equip, so it never feels unbalanced. Despite all this, it's clear that the game just needs more maps and more modes as soon as possible. You would think you don't need so much variety in a MOBA, but I found myself getting tired quicker than I expected. The season pass is thankfully promising to be meaty, with the first five DLC packs promising a new story mode, new skins, new taunts, more maps, as well as new characters. Overall, Battleborn isn't a bad game at all, and in fact can be pretty damn fun when playing with friends. But as it is, a weak single player campaign and a multiplayer mode that gets old faster than I would have liked, it's hard to recommend it for those playing in solo. Right now, it wouldn't be wrong to letting it simmer a little while longer. Gearbox has been very responsive to the community, and from the looks of things, the game is only going to get better. If you've got a bunch of friends looking to play something new together, then Battleborn isn't a bad choice for your next group purchase. But you wouldn't be missing much by waiting a few more months for a Game of the Year edition, or a sale to come around either. The final score for Battleborn is 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching.